When you were a child, if your dad was in your life, how did you know that your dad was your dad? Out of all the men that you might have come across in, uh, in the world, uh, how, how, do you, how did you know that your dad was your dad? Now, obviously, when you're an adult, you can talk about biology and things like that. But isn't it that you knew that your dad was your dad because that was the person that you said, Daddy! You knew that he was your dad because you called him dad. You recognized him as your dad. Well, how do we know that our heavenly father is our father? How do we know that God is our father? How do we know that we are a child of God? Well, that's the work of the Spirit that we are focusing on today in Read the Bible in Lockdown. Uh, we're going to return to Romans 8 that we read yesterday. We're going to read a little bit more and see what the Spirit does so that we know that God is our Heavenly Father. Let's read Romans 8 verse 14. For those who are led by the Spirit of God are the children of God. The spirit you receive does not make you slaves so that you live in fear again. Rather, the spirit you received brought about your adoption to sonship. And by him we cry, Abba, Father. The spirit himself testifies with our spirit that we are God's children. Now, if we are children, then we are heirs, heirs of God and co-heirs with Christ. If indeed we share in his sufferings, in order that we may also share in his glory. Okay, remember yesterday we were talking about those who are led by the Spirit, those who are living in godliness by the power of the Spirit. Uh, they are the children of God. So if you are living according to the Spirit, uh, then you are a child of God. But how do we know that? You know, I'm telling you that. But how do we know it? How are we convinced of it? Well, that's the work of the Spirit as well. Have a look at verse, uh, end of verse 15. By the Spirit you received brought about your adoption to sonship. So it's the work of the Spirit to adopt us, to bring us in. We were, we were not God's children, but now we've been adopted in and we are sons and daughters of God. And look at how the verse ends. It's spectacular says, and by him we cry, Abba, Father. So by the Spirit we cry, Abba, Father. Let's keep going. The Spirit testifies with our spirit that we are God's children. So here's the great work of the Spirit from this passage. The Spirit works in our hearts, testifies with our spirit, convinces our spirit that we are God's children. So we uh, can know that we are children of God, that God is our Father, because the Spirit tells us so in our hearts and it says by him we cry Abba father it's like when I call out to my father dad we cry out Abba father to our heavenly father and what's amazing about that term is uh, you know why is it Abba father well uh, remember our English Bibles are English <laughs> translated uh, from the original Greek and so all of uh, the book of Romans was written in Greek except for this word Abba. So Abba is Aramaic. Now, now father is the Greek word for father and they've translated that to father. Why didn't they translate the Aramaic word Abba to the English word father? Because it kind of just means father, father, just once in Aramaic, once in Greek. Well, it, it, it preserves a wonderful link to the other child of God, Jesus. Because remember what Jesus prayed in the Garden of Gethsemane to his heavenly Father. Let me take you to Mark 14. It says, going a little further, he, Jesus, fell to the ground and prayed that if possible, the hour might pass from him. Abba, Father, he said, everything is possible for you. Take this cup from me, yet not what I will, but what you will. See what Jesus called his heavenly Father? He called him Abba. And by the power of the Holy Spirit, by the work of the Holy Spirit, we call our Heavenly Father Abba as well. And so just as Jesus is the Son of God, by the work of the Spirit, we have been adopted 
to be sons and daughters of God as well. And so we can call God Daddy, just like Jesus. We can call God Abba, Father. We can know that we are his children and we can call God Father by the work of the Spirit. So if you're ever in doubt that you are a child of God, well, if you are living according to the Spirit, if you're longing to please God, pray that the Holy Spirit might work in your heart to uh, testify that you are a child of God. And may he transform your heart so that you'll be able to call God Father, Abba, and know that he is your heavenly Father. That's a great work of the Spirit, to testify to you that you are a child of God and God is your heavenly Father.